morning, everybody. The time now is about nine o'clock on Tuesday, November 1, All Saints Day. Um, Samhain, which was the original Druid and Celtic holiday of the veil being the thinnest, um, where the two worlds, our world, the world of the seen and the world of the unseen were closest together. And it's also the first day of our challenge. I just got through listening to tomorrow's November and me and holy crap. I told you guys before that I felt like this 30 day challenge was literally God doing this. And after listening to tomorrow's November and me, absolutely it was. Um, it's all about listening to your gut. And part of this 30 day challenge is allowing you to get back into your body so you can hear your gut. And so I just hope you guys enjoy this message from tomorrow. I'm so proud of each and every one of you who the 400 of you who are participating in this worldwide global self-healing, um, self-empowerment. And um, a little bit later today, I'll be posting another update video on that. But please enjoy this message from Tamara. She will be back on the channel later this week. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you all soon. Well, here we are, November. The big thing during this month will be move away from your conscious logic because it's not going to be working. Following somebody or following what's being said that that applies to you on a conscious logic level in regard to well that makes sense and that makes sense it's like is the wrong path to take this is a time where you are to be led by your gut feelings so very very simply it either feels right or it doesn't very, very cut and dried. Now, I've spoken before about gut feelings and fear. Fear makes sense. Gut feelings don't. We've got a lot of intense, really intense energy that's going to be figuring in three aspects of humanity. One will be relationships with others. The second will be to do with thinking and ideas. And the other will be to do with identity. These all start on the 1st of November, taking us through until the relationship energy until the 15th, the thinking until the 16th, and the identity through until the 21st. Now, Around from the 16th through to the 30th, there's going to be a lot of fired up energy that's going to be taking place to do with relationships, a lot of fired up new ways of thinking, really like in the gut feeling, what's my feeling? Right, this is what I have to do. And that's from the 17th through until the 30th. And then the big shift and change to do with getting out there from the 22nd through until the 30th to do with all of our identity energy. Now, are we going to have more of this fired up energy? Yes, we are. Yes, we definitely, definitely are. When is this going to be coming in? Well, we've got the 5th and the 6th, right? And that's got a lot to do with the emotional component of humanity. So like getting really fed up is what comes in. The 15th, 16th through until around about midday on the 17th, another lot. But this has got more to do with taking control and then we've got another lot of energy coming in around that 24th, 25th to do with this. Now, I'm also seeing um, a big lot of energy to do with big business aspects around the 26th, 27th. So I'd say a lot's going to be happening around money. Um, and to do with, with business right across the board. But moving away from conscious logic is very, very important. That's how we have been learned to, that's how we've been taught to function. That's got to do with our learning. We've learned to be, things have got to make sense. Conscious logic. 
Um, we are not here to function from that conscious logic. We are here to function from the gut feelings. And when they brought in the teaching of us having to go into the conscious logic where things have to make sense, they disconnected us from the source. The source is the gut feeling. Now we've got massive rebirth that's coming in, but we're basically having to sit on the fence and just bide our time for a little bit longer. Now people are going, time, how long is it going to be? How much more? How much more do we have to put up with? Well, I want to say to you, let's get a watch. Put a watch on your arm. And then you look down at the watch and what do you see? You see the time. So you just take it for granted that as you look at the watch, on the watch, the watch face, um, unless you've got a battery that's run out or whatever, is going to tell you the time. But the thing is, if you pull the watch apart, how does it get to tell you the time? It gets to tell you the time through the mechanisms and there are layers of a mechanism underneath the face of the watch. This is what's going on, people. We keep on looking, going like, when is going to be the time? When's the time? When's it going to happen? If we look underneath the surface, we've got layers, we've got mechanisms that have been put into place and those, all of those mechanisms have got to align before the time is right. Do you get it? The time has got to be right. But justice must prevail, and I'm getting this around the month of November. I'm also getting around the month of November. It's like the energy of like exhaustion. So we're all going to be tired. So you just need to be prepared for that. And it's also an energy vibration that's going to be um, to do with the last four weeks. Now, I've talked about the eight week mark. I've talked about the eight weeks. That's October and November. Breaking from restrictions, things starting to move. Life as we know it is going to be destroyed. Now, we've got to look at planet Pluto, gorgeous planet Pluto. It's like, and I'm saying gorgeous because I'm a Capricorn and I've had it there sitting there for the last 20 years, sitting in Capricorn. What is Pluto all about? It's about transformation. We're in the tail end of this, guys, for the whole of the world. The transformational energy of Pluto going through the uh, going through the Capricorn, which is what's been going on uh, for the twenty years. Capricorn rules government. Pluto means change. So we've been going through all of this change of energy to do with the governance of the world. We've also got the energy of the elimination and regeneration. That again has got to do with your Pluto and also your Capricorn. It's about to go into Aquarius. But I'm going to go into that in more detail when I do my show on Esoteric Atlanta this week with Bryce. So keep an eye out for that one. Now, as we move more into this November energy, is there a lot of heartache coming? Yes, there is. A lot of heartache coming. However, it will lead to celebration. It's going to be the end of the world as we know it. It is changed. It is changed. Our home lives are going to change as we turn our backs and we work for, walk from everybody and everything that no longer works. We're going through a massive death, a massive death process in November as the light once again here we go with the light the light is shedding itself on all of the corners where darkness prevails they can't hide anymore guys they can't hide anything anymore that light's going to go in there and it's going to be like kapow and there it will be exposed 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 as we're going to be starting a whole new cycle in the world releasing and letting go of all of the burdens that we've been carrying now do we have isolation yes we do we definitely have it now it's like i've got here and it's talking about the energy of the five now that can be five weeks it can be up to five weeks 
um, five days. But something that I got today when I was reading for, for a girl in Alaska, and what I got through was, um, as I was doing her readings, reading and her chart and her, also her cards, what came up was dis different periods of time depending on the country. So, so, so that all that was saying to me is we're not all going to be locked down for the same amount of time. It depends on the country that you live in and what exactly is going on. Listen to your intuition. Trust your gut feelings. If you get don't go outside, it's called don't go outside. If you get right, now I can go out, go out. But, you know, gut feelings, gut feelings, gut feelings, gut feelings, guys, as we're bringing in a whole new way of thinking, as we're finishing off the journey of self-mastering. This is a this is a, this is about such an incredible change on the planet. Is there still a lot that's going on behind the scenes? Yes, there is. But they're getting ready to take a new like going stepping into something new and going in new directions. A lot of new direction of energy and there's a lot of determination. A lot of determination because it's called we cannot live with the heartache the pain what has been going on being caught back there in the past we're going to be taken in a new direction take care of your health this month really people take care of your health if you need to sleep sleep yeah because we're dealing with the tail end of this this evil evil energy that has been ruling the world and that card energy is coming with the other card energy to do with money and things so money as we know it things as we know it it's like won't be as important as they have been in our lives in the past and the thing is if they have been we've got to look at the soul's energy the more advanced the soul is the more in harmony the individual will be with what's going on in the world the younger the soul the more they'll be wanting to hang on to things wanting to money the money the things the materialistic things yeah i mean what's you know if you're living on your own what do you want a huge mansion what are you going to do live in one room at a time if you're living on your own you need a smaller space you don't need a mansion Ugh. All we need is the mansion of God, is what I was just told. That's it. All we need is the mansion of God. When that Pluto moves into Aquarius, life as we have known it will be a thing of the past. When does Pluto move into Aquarius? The 23rd of March, 2023. And if you look at it, what have we got? the 23rd of March, 2023, 3, 23rd, March, the third month, year, 2023, 333, three, three. the 23rd, 2, what year, 2023, 222, two, two. big time, I can't wait, I can't wait, now, we are going to have audacious victories, but boy, oh boy, is there a battle? And it's like, and we're still having, they're still having to stand the ground. We're having to stand the ground. In comes the energy vibration here, the card to do with Donald Trump. So we've got him coming in. Whatever you do, make, do not make a foolish move. If it feels right, do it. If it doesn't, don't. Lies that we have been told, all of the lies are going to surface and it will be the cutting, releasing and letting go of everything that is no longer relevant, no longer relevant. Now, is there going to be the anger? Not with you guys, because you guys already know. Right? So it's all of the advanced souls and all of you out there that have had the, your souls chart reading done with me, you know who, what you're here to do. You know, and your soul has been waiting for this, as I've explained to you when we've done our sessions together. Now, what else have we got going on in this month of November? We are looking at money, guys. We are looking at the money that has been hoarded away. 
and so many people are going to absolutely lose their shit when they realize what has actually been going on and how we have all been slaves to the financial system of feeding them all of the wealth and then we've got this incredible heartache and I don't know whether this is going to come out in November but it's all about the children it's all about the children but guys what have we got we're still at the crossroads we're still at the crossroads we're being pointed in the right direction we just have to be ready for the right time remember that analogy that i just explained to you about the watch that's what it is all about and spirit just said to me yep that's right watch and see just watch and see because it's about to happen and we come out at the end of the month with a lot of victory but we still have until now until the 23rd of march of next year for planet pluto to move from that capricorn into the aquarius and as i said before the aquarius energy is all about freedom all about freedom and pluto is going to be about serious transformation to do with the freedom of humanity so love you all and it's like an onwards and upwards and i can't wait to do the december to see what has to what what comes up and what the journey has been as we've gone through all of this november challenging vibration but guys trust your gut feeling trust your gut feeling trust your gut feeling trust your gut feeling and if you don't know what your gut feeling is when you question things okay i don't know what to do i don't know what to do however if there was a part of me that knew the answer of what it is that I should do what would that part tell me to do if your answer that you get is I don't know then you go cool okay it's not that I don't know it's just that I am not open to hear what what my soul's energy connection with the universe and with god is telling me so you just keep on asking yourself the same question and then all of a sudden boom you'll get the answer and that's it that's what you hear that's what you've got to do that's what you've got to follow that's what it's all about okay so again